All right, guys, this is picking up right where we left off um, with the unboxing of the Yitta Home um, Sputnik chandelier ceiling fan. And we are going to assemble the ceiling fan now. So first thing we're going to do is put the down rod on the ceiling fan. The one thing I did notice is it has a wiring harness on the end of the wires to kind of it plugs into the receiver, the trans, uh, the remote receiver. I think that's a really ingenious design because now you can just shove all the wires up at once through the down rod. And it's super easy to wire. So let's see if I can't. Am I going to fall back on my words here? Oh, nope, it goes right through. Okay, and then powder pin needs to be removed. And then these set screws need to be loosened. Put the cotter pin back in. And it around the wires and then put the locking cotter pin in there and then my screwdriver tighten up those set screws and I've just realized I've made a terrible mistake I forgot to put the canopy on so let's 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 do that really quickly all right once more so we take our canopy, which has the mounting bracket in, in it. We want to loosen two screws here to loosen the mounting bracket and pull the mounting bracket out from the canopy. So then the, well, the canopy goes in first, and then the uh, collar cover here slides on like so. You guys, oh no, you guys can't even see this. <laughs> Okay, the collar cover, canopy goes on first, collar cover goes on, and then we feed the wires through. Maybe. Come on. I just had this thing. Okay, maybe not. Give me one second here, please. Okay, there we go. Now, powder pin, the locking pin, set screws. wobble around and okay now the motor the next thing I'm going to do is remove the shipping blocks on here I'm going to move these so they get scratched up I'm going to remove the shipping blocks on the motor here and there should be a space here there is a space in the upper nose that allows for me to unscrew them and save these screws because these are what you'll use to mount the blades. The shipping blocks you don't have to save. Okay, I'm going to just put this back in here actually for now. So I don't lose it. And there are three shipping blocks. So I'm going to just pause and remove the other two. All right, the shipping blocks are off, the canopy and down rod are installed, the motor is now all ready um, and ready to hang. We're going to set it aside for a minute because now we have to assemble the blades. So I wanted to do this side facing down, and I think this is when you got to open up your screw packet.
There should be some washers in here. If we get this thing open, that would be nice. Okay. Yeah. Another thing I noticed, oops, I'm dropping all sorts of stuff. It comes with all sorts of screws and anchors and things to allow you to drill it into any, like there's concrete, like bolts here. Like you could mount this into concrete. They, they really, they really hooked you up here. Um, I'm not sure what these screws are for. These are machine screws as washers. These might be for mounting the fan to the box. I don't know. I guess we'll figure out if anything's missing screws. So, um, this is also what I get for not reading the manual. I probably should have shown that in the prior video, but maybe I will at the end of the testing video. So, for the blade arms, yes, it comes with, probably comes with some extras. So if you lose them, you have a few extras. So you want to line up the blade and arm. You guys can't even, I keep holding it higher than the frame is. And then you want to put a washer on and then a screw and then just hand tighten all three at first and then later go in with the screwdriver and then go in with the screwdriver And now we have one blade fully assembled. So I'm going to do the other four, and I'll be right back with those completed. All right, all five blades are assembled, and they do give you an extra blade to blade arm screw, blade to blade arm washer, and an extra blade arm to motor screw as well. So yeah, you can lose one, and that's it. <laughs> After that, you're out of luck. So. Now that we've got everything on the floor assembled here, it's time to move up to the ceiling, my electrical box up there, and we're gonna put up the mounting bracket now. So just give me one second and I'll do that. All right, I'm not sure how well you can see up there, but I did hang the mounting bracket up, just two screws onto the box. And now we're gonna hang the motor. Actually, you know what? First, a better idea might be to install the remote receiver so they come with the wires pre-stripped here i'm out of frame again so just peel those off and now you just wire black to black and white to white from the receiver so let me go ahead and do that okay the receiver has been wired um now you also will want to wire up the grounds but not until after you hang the fan because there's another green ground that comes from the fan motor that you're going to want, but you're also going to want to strip those ground wires as well. So, now it is time to take our fan motor and slip it into the bracket and then twist it until it thunks down into place like that. Alright, so now I'm going to wire up the three grounds together one from the motor from the receiver and from the or sorry not the receiver the receiver doesn't have one there's one from the motor one from the mounting bracket and one from the wire in the ceiling okay all right so i just wanted you guys to see up close here the receiver wired up to the motor i have it tucked into the mounting bracket and now you can take the wiring harness from the fan motor and plug it into the wiring harness from the receiver and now we can tuck everything into place that should this should just be fine like that and then the canopy slides up and ideally it would slide over but my wires are in the way um, so I'm just going to fix that really quickly, but that's basically how it'll, how it'll work, how it'll go together. Okay.
Okay, the canopy is up there. Now, one thing I did do wrong in the last clip was I had the re remote receiver upside down. And when I had it upside down, it wouldn't let the canopy go all the way up. So just make sure that the receiver is flipped with the wide side facing up. And the wires are like coming out from the top of the receiver. So now, time to install the blades. So that is very simple. All we have to do is take out two of the screws. Hang on, just cutting that one up there. And the one in the fan blade on. Maybe oriented this way. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. Oh my god, okay. So hold the blade. And then with the uh, hold the screw in there with your finger. And then That, that, that caught. Okay, so now we just put the other one in, the other screw, the same way. Okay, that's not loose. Perfect. All right. Um, that's how easy it is to put the blades on. So I'm going to do the rest of them now, and I'll be back. Okay, the blades are all attached. It's not time to install the light kit. So it looks like I got to remove all three of these screws on the nose because there's no keyhole slots like on Hunter vans, which I don't know. So now these, the light kit wires also have this, like the same wiring harness that Harbor Breeze uses. So that and the one that's just dangling around. I know you're not really supposed to hang it by the wires, but it's got wire, it's got like string release and zip ties to it, so it should be fine. And this one up here. Oh, there is a reverse switch. Okay. Oh, it's wiring, but go back up in there. Okay. This one screw. Get one screw started. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the rest of the screws now. Okay, I've got to go find eight light bulbs now. Um, so <laughs> let me try to do that. And then we'll put the glass on. All right, I found eight light bulbs, all of varying shapes, sizes, and colors. Well, not colors, but frosted and clear. So we're going to put the globes on. I don't know if... Yeah, that should work. Um, let's try this one first. I don't exactly know how. Okay, all right, that worked. Seemed easy enough. Let's try this one. Seems like you gotta put two in. And these two are like stretched out. Glass, but 
improve. All right, oh. Gotta cut me for a second there. It definitely holds them on there tight. All right, I'm gonna do the other um, six off camera so you can speed up the process. All right, it is all complete. The fan is hat hung. It's got the light kit and the globes all on it. And let me tell you, I actually, I think it looks amazing. I think it looks great. I would love to see this installed somewhere in my house, actually. I'm, I'm honestly considering it now. I did not think I was going to like this so much, but I do. It's such a cool, like it literally looks like a chandelier. It just This part looks like a cloud. Um, now, the other thing I did notice was there was no battery included in the remote receiver. Thankfully, I had a spare one, um, but I have it powered up, so I'm just going to give you a quick demo. I'm This isn't going to be like a full test that's going to be in the next video, but here's the light, and the light works. And we'll just turn the fan on low here. But it works. It's just to show you guys that I did everything right in the installation. All right, turn it off. So that is it for the installation video of the Yitta Home Sputnik fan chandelier. So thank you guys for watching. And the next video you will see is the fan being tested like my normal uh, ceiling fan testing videos. So thank you guys for watching and more to come.